So the first thing you need to do to do this is create a new spotlight. So we're going to go to create lights spotlight. Now, if like me, you've left your projector in the center of the room, it makes it quite easy to position the spotlight. So we need it to be within um, this projector into the bit that we hollowed out earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change to a different view. I'm going to use the side view and I'm going to rotate the light so that it's facing up. And I'm just going to rotate it part of the way. I'm not going to do it all of the way because I can then move into the channel box and I can see that I've rotated it 68 degrees on X. So if I can just type 19 there, I know that it'll be pointing straight up, which is what I want. I also want to move the light up slightly so it's just kind of protruding from the shape. And now I'm going to go back into the attribute editor. The next thing we're going to do is we're just going to change the cone angle. So at the moment you can see this green cone represents the angle that the light is going to shine at. And we want it to look like it's coming out of this cone that we've created within the projector. So I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. You can see there's a, a cone angle there. And if I just move this slider, you'll see that the cone angle changes on the light. And I can match that up with the projector like that. So that's beautiful. What I'm also going to change, there's something called a penumbra angle. And that affects the softness on the edge of the light. If you want to see that in action, just create a spotlight in a new scene, shine it at something and change the penumbra angle and you'll see what it does. Um, but what I want to do is just type 30 in that box and it'll stop the edge of the light being like a perfectly drawn line. and It'll kind of fade, which is what we're looking for. As things stand with this light, though, it wouldn't um, be visible in the air. It would just, if you looked up at the ceiling, you'd see a, a circle of light, but you wouldn't be able to see it in the air. And to do that, we need to create a light fog. Before we do that, though, we're going to set the color of the light and we're going to ch change that to being kind of a pale blue. So I'm just going to, where am I, I want to choose that kind of color. So my light wants to be a nice pale blue, which is uh, beautiful. I'm also going to add a decay rate to the light because I don't want this to necessarily light the ceiling. I want it to only go so far. And a decay rate means that the light dies off over distance. So I'm going to add a quadratic decay rate, which is perfect for what I need here. And it'll just mean that the, the further away from the projector the light gets, the more it dies off, which works really well with the fog that we're going to create. So now we will add the fog. You need to scroll down a little bit to the light effects section, and we're going to open that. And you can see that there is a light fog um, option. Before we change anything, though, before we create the fog, we're going to make sure that the intensity of it is up a little bit. So we're going to turn that to 5 and press Enter. And then we're going to click on the button to add a light fog to the light. And then I'm going to add a um, slightly darker blue color to the fog, like that. And that is the light fog complete. So the preview in Maya doesn't really show um, the light off. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into my perspective view. I'm just going to frame up a shot with the projector in view. So something like that, I think. And then what I'm going to do is just test render the frame to see what this glow looks like. So here we go. So there you go. That's the, the effect we've created. So you can see that there is now a blue light. And the idea is that that light is part of the, the holographic projection that's been created. Again, I'm just going to turn this off so you can now get a, a better feeling of why the room's so dark because there's a projection happening uh, and that's quite bright in the scene, which is what we wanted. So that is um, another light placed and we're making some damn fine progress. Yes. Okay, I'm going to close that window.